for WNEM TV5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raven Bloom. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. Mid Michigan's first cannabis consumption lounge is set to open in Bay City soon. The Remedy Room Provisioning Center aims to become the largest lounge in the state, renovating 6,500 square feet of space on two floors. The lounge will have a pool table, a stage, for music, TVs, and more. Bay City Council members approved consumption li licenses to be given for up to five businesses. Construction is underway and the shop hopes to open late summer or early fall. The Department of Agriculture asking people to be on the lookout for this invasive insect. The spotted lanternfly is known to destroy a wide range of fruit and more than 70 types of trees. The species is native to China and can spread long distances with the help of people who move infested in materials. If you find a spotted lanternfly or egg mass, the Department of Agriculture says to take pictures and send them to the DNR with the date time and location. Henry Ford Health System has a shortage of nurses at all of its facilities across the state, so it's bringing in 600 registered nurses from the Philippines. The first Filipino nurse arrived this week with more recruits expected later this year. The pandemic led to many people leaving the profession, which led to longer hours and burnout for those left behind. Those in the Henry Ford System are on board with the initiative. Now here's Kyle with a look at your forecast. Thanks, Raven. It's all about rain showers again as we go throughout the rest of your evening and as we go throughout the next two days before there is some improvement as we move forward. Today is, is of course, the last day of April. Tomorrow will be the beginning of May, and we are going to gradually see those May-like conditions take over. There's just a bit of a lag here for us. Here's a look at our hour by hour. You'll notice more rain shower activity as we go into the very overnight hours. Isolated showers and not really too heavy for us either. That'll continue as we go throughout your Monday morning, and then we do add in yet another chance as we go forward. Here's a zoomed out look of your hour by hour as we go uh, throughout the next couple of days here. This low pressure system continues to pivot throughout mid Michigan uh, and through the Great Lakes, continuing to bring us more rain chances and that lingers into your Tuesday and it does look like by Tuesday evening we'll start to see some improvement, but it might not be until early Wednesday morning that we finally see most of that rain peel out of the area and then we're left with the chance for some sunshine as we go into late Wednesday and into your Thursday and there are some very low chances for a few isolated showers as we go into the end of the week and into the weekend. But as of right now, I expect us to be mostly on the drier side, though I have kept a 10% chance in there for both your Thursday and Friday. We'll keep an eye on that as we go throughout the next couple of days here. But the bigger story here is going to be the fact that we have those temperatures starting out in the 40s for us to start the week. Gradually through the week, we are warming through those middle and then upper 50s. And by the time we head into the weekend, right now actually looking not too bad for us. Again, we're keeping a close eye on ch slight chances for rain there. But overall, it does look like we, we will be able to work and some sunshine and temperatures into the lower 60s there for us with warming overnight temperatures as well with no risk uh, for those damaging overnight loads for our fragile plants either. So we're definitely gradually seeing that warm up as we move forward and it even looks to continue into the following week as well. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.